I'm Jack. And I'm Richie. And today we're making burritos. Step one. You'll need a fridge, of course, first of all, to uh, store your chicken breast. Now, uh, Nature's Best is my product of choice. Um, you know, it can't, you can get it from any uh, deli, uh, Dorito Salsa Company. Um, you know, I like to go up from Woolworths, or Leonard's, my favourite choice. Now, uh, I want this chicken breast fresh from Woolies. Uh, let's see, uh, two, six hundred kilograms. Step two. Now, <clears throat> grab your Woolies chicken breast from the left and right. Now, you've got to get a good grip on it because it does get out of hand now and then, you know? So, grab your chicken breast, roll it, pull, discard the packaging. Discard it. Step three. Okay, this step, we're just gonna um, cut this chicken breast. So, you're gonna wanna cut this chicken in nice, even pieces so that they cook evenly on the grill. Okay, think of cutting chicken like maybe um, <laughs> slithering a little, like slithering a little piece off. Maybe cut it on an angle. Nice rowing motion, like you're rowing in a rowboat on a nice sea. We're gonna cut these into, into nice strips, okay? Strips will be best suited for our meal today. Hey mom, where's the walk? While we wait for this chicken to be prepared, I like to have a bit of a relaxation time to get me really in the mood for cooking a nice burrito. So, sometimes, this is a good idea, I like to use this, but I simply just like to read How Many Bugs in a Box. Classic book by David A. Carter. Hi guys, while you're cooking the chicken, um, usually I've had experiences where I've almost cut myself. Um, you know, something that helps me is a, a carton of empty eggs. Um, I place it for the right hand side of me. It gives me a good essence while I'm cooking. You know, the knives are sharp and you know, my companies have warned me and, and myself from keeping the knife away from the throat and the egg box. Back to cooking. Now we're going to begin the seasoning process of the chicken. We will begin this in T minus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so we're going to put this chicken in this bag. See this bag here? It's going to profusely enhance the chicken's flavour. Profusely. So, we just simply place it in the bag and we'll be dandy, alright? Massage the chicken like a little, uh, just get, get your hands nice in there, nice and in there so all of the flavouring surrounds every single piece of chicken because you're going you're gonna to want your burritos to have every bit of chicken full of flavour and texture. Remember back to your kindergarten days playing in the sandpit, this is the same principle. Dice the chicken, mix it up and swirl it. Now guys, once you've uh, diced up your chicken and seasoned it, we have our ready-made wok here. Now, I would uh, say cooking on low heat because uh, you'll burn the outside of the chicken and uh, you'll make the inside very good and you don't want that. So, basically what we do is we grab the extra olive oil, dash it in like you're lighting on your power lard. Second of all, get your diced up chicken, pop it in. It doesn't matter where it goes, just pop it in. Now, swirl it around a bit, give it some flavour, texture and then we'll crank this stove up like there's no tomorrow. Crank it up. Now guys, once our Richie's uh, cooking over the wok, we'll have to go to your fridge. Now, <clears throat> you'll have to get a certain ingredient. Uh, whack open the drawer and we'll see what's inside. Uh, well, this isn't good for cooking, obviously, for, for burritos. Um, <clears throat> What else have we got in here? We got uh, a few carrots, um, you know, the old things, but uh, oh, exactly what I want, iceberg lettuce. You can get it from Woolworths. Get that on the table. What else have we got in here, boys and girls? Uh, nothing else. That's all you need from your fridge at the moment. Now guys, Rich is still on the block. We've got a bit of time. Uh, 
while you're doing this, remember using a knife, always keep your empty egg carton to the right of you. Um, <coughs> so we'll just dice some lettuce. I like to call this the claw, I use it with all my cooking. Um, <coughs> let me see. Now, I've got a little bowl here, $80 bowls from Greece. Um, I just like to just get the lettuce, you know, and just, you know, mould it together. Like it's an art piece, you know, you really have to feel it. You have to be part of the lettuce. Now, you rip that apart and you know, that's perfect. It's perfect. Well done. Wash your lettuce. Okay guys, uh, you know, probably tw step 26 I'd say. Uh, you'll need to get your sauce. I forgot to mention before that you can get these uh, El De Paso soft taco kits from any Woolworths in Australia. Oh, well, I actually so. Uh, what you do is you get the sweet chilli sauce. This is a very key ingredient to your burritos. And you just slowly mousse it in there like you're getting preparing for a birthday cake. Now, get all of the sauce in. You can't miss a bit because it's very important to your burrito's health, okay? Once you've got all the sauce in, wait for the burritos to cook in the wok and you're almost done! Hey, um, do you know where my rat went? Um, no. <laughs> well, looks like the chicken's coming on really well. <laughs> it's just great. You know, I just get really excited when I cook. <laughs> so, yeah. While I'm waiting for Richie to cook the chicken, uh, I just like to usually do a bit of cleaning. Now the chicken's fully congealed, it's time for a celebration. This is the time we've all been waiting for. The chicken is ready. Now dump it from the wok to the plate, preferably a china plate, I like a bit more classy. Uh, dump all the chicken on there, give it a sniff of good luck, I like to do that. And uh, you know, claw the rest off. The lamb bread has been good, hasn't it? Dump it in, it's ready to serve. Mom, time to wash up! Guys, this is the last crucial step. Whack it on the bench. Take out the uh, moisture absorber. Whack it on the bench. Fold it around. Come to the microwave. I don't know about your microwave, but my way for uh, massage. But my, for people that speak Japanese. Two minutes. Oh, there you go. Now, while you're waiting for that, you need to get your burrito. And uh, as we prepared earlier, we have uh, the chili sauce and the lettuce. Good job! They're done. Wow. Before we um, commence the finishing project, finishing it up, slapping all everything off, what I like to do, just for good luck, get some wooden cubes and throw them. Okay, so to craft this very delicate piece, we want to put these on the table. Grab one, Ooh, they're nice and steamy. Just for cleanliness, we don't want to put our hands into that dirty grunk. So, we can just scoop a nice bit of this chicken, this beautiful chicken, onto this thing. A bit more, put it on. Okay, we're going to want to craft this so that it'll be evenly spread in the middle. Spoon up this sauce. Yes. And then, okay, drizzle it. Evenly, evenly, evenly. Yes. All right. That looks good, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Lettuce, you can add this as a finishing touch. If you have other vegetables, you can also add this. And then finishing touch. Roll. Roll it nicely into here. And then we can eat it. We can eat it nicely. <laughs> Now 
right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next time. Adios.